We will now play a game. And the idea is to um, just get a different insight or, or develop a different sense of what a significance level means to you. When I was living in Los Angeles some very long time ago, I was living in actually Culver City, uh, inside of Los Angeles, and I had to commute and I had two choices. I could either go down on the surface roads on Venice Boulevard and then turn right somewhere, or I could take one highway, then zippity doo, go onto the other highway, the 10, I think. And um, near the end of the highway was my my workplace, Rand Corporation. And one was longer, the highway was longer, but then you would go faster. And it wasn't clear to me which option was better because, you know, sometimes there was traffic, sometimes not. And so what I did is I randomized which way I went and recorded each time um, how long it took in minutes. And then once I had decided I had enough evidence that I clearly was convinced that one was faster than the other, I would go that route from then on. So I wouldn't really get much more information. So what we're doing now here, we are simulating this game based on my original numbers, but the numbers here are simulated. And um, you see the first three trips we take here. Uh, the first one is on surface roads. And the second one is also on surface roads and both took 19 minutes. So the mean on the surface roads is um, 19 and well, you average 19, 19, 19, this is still 19. And the highway, the third trip took 23 minutes. So the average on the highway is 23 minutes. What I want you to do is I want you to take a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper, and I will slowly go down here and reveal additional trips. And when you think you know that one is faster than the other, then I want you to write down the corresponding N here. And I want you to write it down because it's very easy to cheat yourself um, by saying, oh yeah, but that's not what I meant and I really meant and I wasn't. So just get a piece of pen, uh, like a pen and a piece of paper. And when you have decided this is when you feel like you know, then you're gonna write it down. And from that day on, you're just going to go surface roads or you're just going to go high. Hope. All right. So you're ready? You got the pen. Stop the video if not. And otherwise, we continue now. So this were three trips. The next trip, the fourth trip. On the highway, 14 minutes. So that gets me a new average on the highway down to 18.5 minutes. And now it looks like maybe the highway is faster than the um surface road because here we had 19 minutes now we have 18.5 minutes so if you feel this is enough evidence write down the n and um otherwise i'm continuing now so write it down if you think uh, you have the evidence the i will go faster than here than anything that's reasonable so you, at some point you just have to decide um uh, for yourself um so don't wait for me to stop because i'm gonna go beyond so next trip, also on the highway, 22 minutes. So my average is up to 90.7. Now we are a little more than the surface. If you think we have enough evidence that the highway mean is higher, then um, then we have the five, uh, you write down the five. Next trip, and the next trip is on surface roads. Our mean on surface roads has changed. It's now, no, still 19 minutes. It's still 19 minutes. We had another 19 minute trip. And here we had 19.7. So if you feel you have enough evidence, you write down the six. Our next trip, we have a highway trip 20 minutes. And now we have 19.8 versus 19 minutes. I'm continuing on. Our next trip is on surface roads, 18 minutes. Now we have 18.8 versus 19.8. You feel you have enough evidence? Write it down. The next trip is 16 minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we have a difference of 18.2 to 19.8 minutes. Is that good enough or not good enough? Next trip. 
you have uh, on the highway 24 minutes. Now we have 18.2 versus 20.6. Good enough. Then you write down the 10. The next trip is also 24 minutes on the highway. Now we have 21.2 versus 18.2. If this is enough evidence and you take the highway, then I uh, know you take the surface road, then write down 11. All right, the next trip was on surface road, 60 minutes. Now we have 17.8 versus 21.2. Good enough, not good enough. I'm gonna carry on forever here, so you can't wait for me. So, um, by the way, if you at some point decide you have enough evidence, you can go ahead um, till this whole thing resolves and go forward on the video. So next trip, um, 12 minutes, 12 minutes. Now we have uh, 17 minutes versus 21.2 minutes. Uh, well, you do the thinking. Okay, 16 minutes, 16.9 minutes versus 21.2. 22 minutes on the highway, 16.9 versus 21.3. You decide. 16. Here, yeah, we have 18 minutes on the highway, 16.9 versus 20.9. 17 minutes here um, on the surface, 16.9, that was more or less the average anyways, 20.9. When if you if you feel you uh, if you have already made your decision you go ahead in the video right near the end. Um, eighteen, the eighteenth trip, seventeen on the highway. Ooh, it's narrowing. The average goes down to twenty point four to sixteen point nine. Twenty two minutes going up again. Twenty point six versus sixteen point nine. 21 minutes. Ooh, now this one is going up. 17.3 versus 20.6. 19 minutes. 17.3 versus 20.5. 19 minutes here again. 17.5 versus 20.5. Been going up. Look at that. 70.3, 70.5. And we were here at oh, 18 minutes. Um, but not enough to change this here. 17.5 versus 20.5. And the next trip, 20 minutes, 17.7. .7. Well, it's going back up here, 17.7, 20.5. Who knows what we're looking at? 22 minutes, 20.7, 20.6. 20 16 minutes, going back down. But it doesn't, you know, we have quite a bit of sample size. It doesn't change much more, right? 17.6, 20.6. 15 minutes on the highway, 15 minutes on the highway. People, if you've gotten this far, 15 minutes on the highway, that jumps through the, um, the mean on the highway is 20.2 now. We are now at 17.6. Okay, 16 minutes here, 17.5, 20.2. 18 minutes here, 17.5, so not much happening. 19, 70.6. Well, you know, the average of so many observations doesn't change much anymore, right? And this is where I'm going to end um, and show you what the outcome is. All right. Moving back up here to your first decision was on the four. Let me get to the four. Okay. So the idea was to for you to figure out at what point do you feel you have enough evidence that one way is better than the other way and you know in statistics usually we use five percent right so if the probability is five percent or below we think we have enough evidence and we can keep them apart and so let's see how the probabilities map here are the probabilities that are calculated um based on you stop say you stop here at this point then if you had looked at these three observations and those three observations the probability would be 43 percent right so if you stopped here then your significance your personal significance level how you feel when you have enough evidence is 43 percent all right so this goes down a little bit here da, 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 and here we had a 16 and then we had another 16 
and then it dropped here to 7%. And then we had this 12 value, this really low value, and then it dropped from 7% all of a sudden to 3.9 and so forth. So you can find out your personal significance level. So um, there is no right or wrong answer. I just want you to get a feeling of in real life when you feel like you know enough and that that might help you to think about what's what's up with this five percent is it reasonable or unreasonable when i did this in real life meaning when i was in los angeles i stopped when i had a significance level of 15 percent now that's when i thought i knew it and then only a couple of weeks later i realized well i could just compute that and make a test out of it. And then I realized I had 15%. So the level that we use in statistics, 5%, is quite a bit more strict than the um, the 15% that I used as on my personal comfort level. I can scroll down here a little more so you can see where this ends. Um, of course, at one point, we had a, a higher value, right? Where was this higher value on the highway? Mm, we had a value 15 that was pretty low. And so the significance level, which before was at under 1%, jumped up to 2.5%, right? So that can happen. Um, for the people who are ultra um, correct, I want to say this p value you are only supposed to compute once. So, um, because otherwise you're doing multiple comparisons. I'm. This is the p value computed where. You stop at some point and then you look at all previous data. So you can't just say, okay, what's how's the p-values change? We just compute that once. All right, your personal p-value. Now we got it. 